Hello again, Rich Gray, Baumcamp, NBC Sports Radio, AM 1060. Cardinals conclude practice, uh, albeit early, 45 minutes early, their last practice of the week before they take on the Cowboys on Saturday. Yeah, it only practice from Tuesday, and it only lasted, you know, lasted an hour and 20 minutes or so. So that's kind of, kind of I'm kind of curious. They didn't practice yesterday. Yeah. Not practicing tomorrow, and they cut this one short. Oh, I mean, even in the uh, off-season area, they like to cut the That's the true. And, and they have games coming up, that's though. That's true. That's also true. Um, as we mentioned, the Cardinals taking on the Cowboys on Saturday. One of those players not going to be dressing up would be Carlos Gansby, but Bruce Arians telling us it's not really that big of a deal. Even if he only plays one game, he should be the week one starter. So he's supposedly going to be back in practice on Monday and uh, then uh, play next week, a week from Saturday against the Chargers in the Ken Wizen Hunt return. And then uh, you know, be good to go, apparently. Some of us have speculated. <laughs> and I think others, uh, that uh, Kevin Mitcher, uh, if, Eric, if uh, Dancy missed any more time, might get that start in week one, but apparently that's not happening. Uh, who are some other uh, players that fans should I have be a lengthy expecting? list here. There you go. I'm, this uh, is the most unofficial injury list in the history of football. And it's the best I can do, just kind of based on who's been out here and who's been sidelined. Let's start with the guys that didn't play last week that are expected back this week. That includes Darren College, Andre Ellington, Jamel Fleming, Robert Gill, Richard Mendenhall, Alex Okafor, Kerry Taylor. Guys that we don't think are going to play or you're not going to play, Carlos Dansby, Rashad Johnson, Jeff King, Ricky Lumpkin, Frosty Rucker, Kerry Sperry, uh, uh, Corey Sperry, excuse me, Dan Williams and Ryan Williams. And guys who are questionable, uh, remember, this is highly unofficial. Javier Arenas, who did not participate today, just had a jersey on. Jared Dillard, who suffered a concussion last week at Green Bay. And Earl Watford, who left today's practice, the rookie offensive lineman, with some sort of leg injury or maybe groin injury. He was uh, not horribly limping, but somewhat limping as he went to the locker room. They didn't cart him off, but he was, uh, yeah, it took him a while to get there. He wasn't having that very good of a team to begin with. Well, I, Arians talked about today, but I think you know, maybe the fact that they talk up D.C. Jefferson who had another rough practice today. Call with him a yo-yo. False <laughs> start today and also dropped a pass and lined up wrong. Uh, between, I think he's not going to trash his own draft picks. Yeah, it's def definitely not the case. Uh, but those two guys are practice squad materials. Uh, so what should everyone uh, expect on uh, Friday's sports up? A lot on the offensive line, you're going to hear some about what might happen on Saturday from Arians, of course, and Palmer. Uh, in addition to uh, five things like we did last week that, that I'll be looking for on Friday. And the poll question is three things. One other thing today, uh, Curtis Taylor uh, was running with the ones as the starting safety uh, when there was only a, you know, like a standard formation, so to speak. The only time that Tyron Matthew was out there with the first team defense is if there was a slot receiver. So maybe Matthew isn't going to start unless the Cowboys come out with a slot receiver on Saturday. So that's something that we'll definitely be keeping an eye on. Well, you will actually be keeping an eye on. I'll be up at Camp Tonazona on Saturday, which is all going to flow report. Hope it rains. Well, no, no, no. Because last, last year I almost, was, almost died there. No, yeah, no, we yeah. don't want to. I can only be fair. No, 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 I was there for that too. No, no I'm sorry, no, but yeah, no, we don't need that again. So keep checking out BobcatBottomLine.com for the latest on Cardinals camp. And Tomorrow afternoon, game. by the way, we'll have like a. I'm going to unload the notebook. Whatever I have, whatever I haven't used, and through tomorrow's show and through the website today, whatever for the first three weeks, I'm going to you know have a special little thing. You know, I don't know what I want to call it. Unloading the notebook, maybe. <laughs> uh, that'll be at BobcatBottomLine.com tomorrow. After. All right, so keep checking that out for Bob Kemp. Where's Kent Summers walking yeah, by? There he goes, there he goes. Kent Summers getting a shot. Famous guy waving to us. <laughs> <laughs> this has been another Cards Camp video blog on NBC Sports Radio AM 1060. We'll talk to you uh, next week.